Yeah, what's your Riley with KJ? We back with another reaction video. No cap. Hey, first of all, don't say nothing about my head top, bro. You know what I'm saying? I literally just woke up, bro. Like, I did an eight and a half hour stream last night, bro. So I did not have no time to do no reaction. I go like, I ended at like 6 a.m., bro. So, you know what I'm saying? I gotta do the reaction now. You know what I'm saying? Hair all messed up and stuff. So, don't even watch it. Just watch the video and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I got to record like three reaction videos and three main channel videos this, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that's that. You know what I'm saying? Before you get the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, bro. Um, let me know what you want me to react to next, bro. Hey, and look. Hey, look, look real quick, bro. Look at this real quick, bro. We are fucking six away from fucking 200 on the main channel, bro. So if you're not sub to the main channel and you're watching this right now, Link in the description or just type a Hollywood cage on YouTube or subscribe, but we gotta hit 200 by the end of next week. No cap, bro. You know what I'm saying? We go get shared TV. No cap. Let's see what goes on. Someone broke into my house. Okay. This happened to me when I was going to school in Los Angeles during the spring of 2012. Okay. I grew up in Indiana in a very safe community. So it took a while for me to adjust to the craziness and crime in the city. I was living in an apartment with four other women at my college. Oh, that's one of them ones. Okay. was above a house, so to access it, you had to go down a long alleyway next to the house and up some stairs, so it was pretty out of the way. On this particular day, I stopped by the apartment to grab some music before a choir practice. So some I came music? inside what? and started gathering my materials on the kitchen table. I didn't bother locking the door since I would only be there for a few minutes. There was a knock on the screen door. I ain't gonna lie. That's one thing I always do when I'm walking the crib. It's like a habit. Just like lock and close the door. But I ain't gonna lie. I don't know how you gotta do it. You know what I'm saying? Walk your crib and feel comfortable with that lock. So that's just, you know what I'm saying? I looked up. Yeah. There was a man standing on the doorstep. He was a young Hispanic male, medium height, and wearing a t-shirt and jeans. Uh, hello? I called out to him. Bro, walk up to the door, bro. You got delivering a package or something. The man doesn't say a word and reaches down and opens the screen door. You're he dumb. begins to walk towards me. Still at this point, I was not alarmed, starting to say something about him leaving the package on the table. What when the noticed, fuck are you dumb? He didn't have one. This nigga's stupid. The only thing in his hand was a box cutter. If you die to a damn box cutter, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, your life is just like, how you, bro, if you get, oh my God, what you gonna say when you get to heaven, bro? A motherfucker slice, slice me up with something that fucker is used to open a package, bro. I got it, bro. I ain't gonna lie. By the time I realized this, he was too close for me to escape, and he put the blade against my neck. Nigga, knock him out. Up and walk into my roommate's bedroom next to the kitchen. He locks the door and pushes me onto the bed. Uh-oh. My mind is racing the whole time, telling myself that he probably just wants to rob me and that I will let him take whatever he wants. As I'm sitting on the bed, he starts looking around the room. Yeah, he then shit. grabs some telephone cables next to the bed. Oh, he gonna tie his... To tie oh, shit. Together. It wasn't working too well, but he kept trying. I eventually snapped out of my trance, realizing that this situation could become even more dangerous if he binds me. What does that mean? I screamed and started pushing him. I it took you that long to scream? If I had a bitch scream from the second that nigga knocked on the what the fuck? He caught me and tried again to tie my hands together. But I was thrashing and screaming and kept hitting him in his head. God damn. After a few God seconds, damn. he decides to bail and runs out of the apartment. I followed him, screaming for help. One of my neighbors who lived in the house under our apartment came out within seconds and saw the guy running down the alley and chased him into the street. We called the cops. Did you help her? Away. I ended up going down to the station where I worked with a police sketch artist on a composite. That's that OD. What the fuck? The television. They caught the guy within a week. The police officer who it took responded a whole week, to the yeah. scene said that there was a local gang that required new members to cut off the nipples of women. Holy shit. What offering. the fuck? Ever since the no, that got it. She was about to get her titties cut off. That's tough. It's a good thing she got it because she would have been titty -less. 
She would have been titless. That's tough if she already didn't look like she had much down there. I mean, I'll carry on saying that's tough. I always tell people to lock their doors. I mean, that's something you should have been just stopping by to grab a few things. Okay. You're better off safe than sorry. And then titty -less. Hey, bro, if you enjoyed that video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, God, no.